what ha what happened up here in those in the in those uh, couple of days when that flood was uh, horrific. In the overall scheme of things, of what's happened in the valley was uh, not as traumatic as what happened there, but it was traumatic for us because we didn't know what was ahead of us as far as recovery, and uh, it did cause a lot of damage to you. On the washing machine, came down the hill, came across here. Yeah. Nothing there. Yeah. Came up to here. Came up to there, but by the time it got in, it went under. But came in down here, it was up here. As far as the community was concerned, it was something we completely um, uh, were taken by surprise. Uh, by the time we settled down and um, it came, came to the reality that we um, we had floods right through the, the spotted cow. It took us nearly 24 hours, 24 hours to um, uh, come to grips with that. And then when we, my wife came came down on the Wednesday morning and uh, walked in the door and about 50 people walked in behind her and it was just unbelievable. The community was just tremendous. It, it was a, a great uh, uniting thing that happened here, people, pour, uh, emotions poured out for other people and uh, I think that um, a lot of people have got memories, not so fond memories of what happened, but they've got memories of what happened. The only time I talk about it is when, when we're asked about it. I think when, a lot of, when people find out that we're affected by the floods, and we get a lot of people from Brisbane and parts beyond, uh, when, they find out, when they find out that we have had water through this place and we're affected, they're, they're genuinely interested and they're genuinely um, uh, interested to find out exactly what happened. But the big point I always make is it's all in perspective and that's the whole thing. We, we were affected and we did have damage but I stress that it really was minor on the, on the overall scheme of things. And I think um, a mosaic that is planned would be a, a symbol of this um, united um, uh, feeling that went through this town and this district over those months and for months after. It was a significant um, event in our time here in Toowoomba. I don't think we should really forget about it. I think we should always think about it. Think about all the positive points that came out of it. And this is one way of I would say of recreating a lot of the positive points and there were incredible um, strength that the community gave people who were affected and we were, and we were affected on, an up, on the lower scale. Sure, we, we had property damage etc. But on the human side, where, pe <coughs> where people lost lives and families were affected, the way our community came together, especially in support of those people. This uh, proposal for a mosaic, and I think, would be uh, wonderful. Wonderful for this town of Toowoomba. You even have it there. You have, you have it here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Where do you think it's best for you to get the best vision and it suits both of us on that? You know, Toowoomba's always been a, 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 a terrific town, a terrific place, and it's always got its positive. But I think since the floods, it's gone to another level as far as perception goes of, of this town. And I think it, 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 you've only got to listen to some of the reports on the radio of different things. And I think there are, there, there's more happenings, uh, there's more things that happen in this town now that are brought to light. And I think these floods, for want of a word, have put Toowoomba on another level as far as recognisability goes in this country. So I think, I think it'd be marvellous. And I think it'd be, I think it'd be, I think it'd be marvellous because, as I said earlier, it's something that probably will, we won't, we won't forget in a hurry. But that's a positive, and this will be a positive too. I'm Phil Curry from Spotted Cow. January 2011, obviously we were flooded with the rest of Toowoomba, unfortunately, and Queensland. But we decided to organise a fundraiser and found a really great ca uh, charity. Um, the Murray Darling Basin Committee, and for every ninety dollars that we raised, we that that was one person that was one day's volunteer work uh, out on smaller properties that people sort of weren't quite aware were affected. There was a lot of smaller 
rural areas that were affected. And we were fortunate enough to have Ar Ar Artie Beats in here, Tom Adonikas, John Conley, Rodney Hogg and Ron Barassi, so the four major sports codes in Australia. They all donated their time and allowed us to raise $12,000, which was a fair, fair few volunteer days. Actually, I was talking to someone that they, they did not know that we'd been flooded. I said, well, we never really told anyone because I was stuck at the bottom range, Mum and Dad was, and, and, and we knew that there were people that passed away. And we saw the damage to a lot of other businesses and we really thought ours was, was quite minor. And I think the, the thing that really got us going was the day after, um, floods, the gentleman who organised all those speakers that I talked about rang me straight away and said, what can I do? And that's when I realised, well, what can we do? So that's when we clicked into gear, so to speak. And like, we, we were very lucky. We were, we were sort of back on our feet straight away. And we had a, a lot of support from our customers and all that. But, um, you know, it was at the end of the day, it was a tough year for everyone. You know, there's been a lot more people out there that have suffered so much worse, so much worse.